my favorite pieces, but they're little ribbed onesies. This is the Solly Baby Wrap. I got it in this like oatmeal color here. If you... And then I also got these two blankets, and this is kind of excessive. So this is from Lulu and Company, and I haven't yet opened it. And then I also have this one here too. This one's a knotted gown, and then this one is the top and bottom sets, the little pajama sets. So I'm going to open them up. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you are new here, which most of you probably are new here because this is a brand new channel. I had my first video of getting ready for the baby with a Target haul on Monday, and now I'm going to be doing a baby clothing haul. So this is a newborn clothing haul, and I'm going to have mostly newborn and zero to three month clothing, and then some three to six month clothing that I have just picked up, and it's most of it's going to be more gender neutral colors because that's kind of what I'm into. And then also I have some baby products as well, like some swaddles, some blankets, a baby wrap, diff different things like that that are gender neutral colors. And I'm really excited to show it all to you. So before we get started, I am 35 weeks pregnant today as I'm filming this video. So when you're seeing this video, I'm actually going to be closer to 36 weeks pregnant. And I cannot wait for my baby boy to be here. We are having a boy. My first baby is a girl and she is 22 months old. Her name's Bryn. And then this baby, we have not yet announced his name, and we're still kind of on the fence about it a little bit anyways. So he might be nameless for a couple days, but we will see how that goes at the hospital. But thank you guys for joining my new channel. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure and hit the subscribe button, because I am building this channel up from zero subscribers. I switched my other channel to be my budgeting and planning channel now, and working on my Etsy shop, those kind of videos. So this video is going to be all motherhood and lifestyle content, and I'm really excited to have a space for that now. My favorite videos to film are probably my motherhood and lifestyle content videos. Especially, I love doing day in the life vlogs. So if you guys like that kind of content, and if you want to see my videos coming, like what's in my hospital bag, organizing my nursery, my birth vlog, those kind of videos, make sure and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss one of those videos. And then also, I hope you guys don't mind the way that I'm sitting right now. I'm just sitting on my floor. I tried sitting on a stool. It was just going to be way too high up to have to keep bending down to get each piece of clothing because I'm kind of on the struggle bus today. So I hope you guys don't mind, but I do have all of my clothing in here. I have them in these little tubs and I haven't yet washed them because I was waiting until after this video. So I'm excited to film this today so I can start getting everything washed and get my nursery organized and that will probably be one of my next videos coming up. I just have to find the motivation to organize the nursery because right now it's kind of a mess. So let me get started and I'm going to go through the newborn clothing first. I have some really fun pieces of clothing from Lulu and Company. I'm in love with their neutral colors. And then I also shopped at Zara and H&M and I got a few things from Target. A few things from the Little One shop which I love that little shop as well. It's really cute. So I'm going to get into it and show you guys everything that I got. So first I'm going to start out with a couple little newborn outfits here. This one is so cute. This is considered one to two months on H&M, but their sizes kind of run weird sometimes. They're kind of like a little bit bigger than they say they are. It actually looks pretty accurate compared to some of their outfits, and then it has the little ribbed pants that go with it. And I'm really loving the ribbed outfits right now. And then I also got Bryn a pink one to match him. They're kind of like a little pajama set. So I thought this was really cute. Can't wait to put him in that. I'm not sure what he's gonna wear on his way home from the hospital yet. This one could be in the running depending on how big he is, but I also have some other really cute neutral outfits that I like. So one of those might end up winning. And then I also got him these little newborn joggers. They're kind of like a minty green color. I'm not sure what the color's called on their website, but that's kind of what they look like to me. I think these look really cute and comfy. And I also got these really cute ribbed leggings. They are like a knit material. And then I thought he could wear this with another um, item that I'm going to show you here in a minute. My sister got me these two little onesies. So they're like a little outfit in themselves and then you can just put some socks with them. It comes with a little elephant one, if you can see that elephant print. And then also this gray one that says little peanut. They're so cute. These are size newborn. And then I think this is the last thing in size newborn. But I have this pack of three little pairs of pajamas from Target, this little polka dotted one, and then I love this little hedgehog one. I think it's so cute. Or porcupine, it might be a porcupine, I'm not sure. So those are really cute. These are just from Target. 
the Cloud Island brand, and I actually really like those sleep and plays. And then these are Carter brand, and they're just a couple little pairs of pajamas. They were on sale, so I got them. I really wanted this one just in case he happens to have blue eyes like Brynn. I thought it would be cute. And then this one's cute as well. I'm not super into like animal pajamas for boys, but I think it's cute. And then next, these are both from the Little One Shop. These are some of my favorite pieces, but they're little ribbed onesies. So let me hold it up here a little bit closer. This one I think is called the Camel Color on their website. And then that's why I thought these leggings would be cute with it. Then I also ordered the leggings in the cream color on their website, but they haven't yet came in the mail. So I'm going to pair that with this and make it a little outfit, and this could be his coming home outfit as well, if he happens to be a little bit bigger, which I have a feeling he's going to be. So I thought that would be cute. So this would be like a little outfit in itself, and then the cream pants could also go with this as well. And my sister also got me this little pair of jeans from Gap to go with this shirt. Of course it can go with a bunch of things, but this is a little onesie, but it looks like a t-shirt because the t-shirt kind of comes up here. So this onesie just snaps underneath the jeans and then it's a little outfit. He's gonna be so stylish. So this is zero to three. And these jeans are so soft. They are from Gap, but she did get them about two years ago um, when we were having our gender reveal for Brynn because she didn't know if it was gonna be a boy or a girl. So they picked out some outfits for both and then she ended up saving them. So that is from that. My mother-in-law got these cute little overalls, which I'm going to be able to pair with like a little white onesie or something. I think this would actually look really cute under here. This is going to be another thing that I show, but I'm going to slip it under here just to see how it looks. Oh yeah, that will be really cute. So here's this. This is just like a little white ribbed onesie under here, and I think it looks so cute. And they're both three months, so that will be perfect. These overalls are from Old Navy. They're zero to three months. And she just got these, so they should still be on their website. And then this is from Carter's. It's a little cute white ribbed onesie. And it did come with this elephant one as well. I got these from TJ Maxx, but they are Carter's brand. And I thought these were so cute, especially this one. This is why I got it, because I loved this white ribbed onesie. And then I also have these elephant pajamas from Old Navy. My mother-in-law got these for him, and I think these are adorable as well. They're just a little zip-up pair of pajamas, and I have a few more pairs from Old Navy that I'm going to show here too. So this little cream pair is from Old Navy. I got these for him. They're zero to three months. Just a little zip-up footy pajama. Those are really cute. And then these are my favorite pajamas. They're so soft. You guys probably know what material I'm talking about if you shop at Old Navy. It's not a fleece, but it's just like a very velvety, fuzzy material. So I really like these. I got them in navy, and I got them in gray as well. I think my mother-in-law got the navy ones, and then I picked up the gray ones. Bryn did have a pair when she was little that I could have just used, but they're kind of worn out because she wore them so much, and I wanted them to be super soft because babies just seem so cuddly when you put them in these soft little pajamas. So I had to get a new pair for him. And then of course, just some plain onesies. I got these from TJ Maxx. And then last for this bin for the zero to three size. And then I have some things in three to six as well. But these are just some pajamas. I got these ones from Carter's and well, actually my mother-in-law got those. She also got me these little dinosaur ones and these are a ribbed material. I love these, they're so soft. And I think these are zero to, th these are three months. And then someone also got me these, I think. These little cloud pajamas from Old Navy. I think my mother-in-law got them, but I'm not sure. Oh, I forgot to show this. This is three months as well. This is one of the things that my sister got for me a couple years ago. And I think it's so cute. It has the little pocket and then the little brown buttons. And this is three months as well. It'll be a cute little outfit for him. Okay. I'm so excited about these clothes here. There's some of my favorite pieces are in here. So this is from Lulu and Company and I haven't yet opened it. And then I also have this one here too. This one's a knotted gown and then this one is the top and bottom sets, the little pajama set. So I'm gonna open them up. And I got the top and bottom pajama set in three to six months. I kind of wish I would've got it in zero to three now so he could wear it right away. But 
I did get it in three to six months just so that he could have more use out of it in case he's a little bit bigger. So I got him this little top and then it comes with the little bottoms. It's so cute and it's ribbed. I absolutely love it. So this is what it looks like here. Whoops. It has the little buttons on the top and it's so stretchy and soft. And then the gown that I got, I'm gonna take that out here too. This is the Reese colored gown. I can't remember what this one was called, but I'm gonna try to link as much as I can in the description box below. Hopefully I can find some links to this, but, but this one is the Reese knotted gown. And he might wear this home from the hospital too because, because I saw a tutorial video that you can tie them up in this a certain way to fit them in their car seat still. So this is what you'll knot at the bottom to be the knotted gown. It's so cute and I love the little buttons here too. I just think it's adorable. And this is a newborn, um, like zero to three months I think they called it. And it does have the little fold over mittens too so that they can't scratch themselves. And he'll be getting some newborn pictures done in this so I'm super excited for that. Then also, I hope you guys don't think this is excessive, but I have another knotted gown from Lulu and Company. My friend actually got this one for me, and it's so cute. This one is navy and white striped, and I didn't take it out until just now because I wanted to wait until the video, but it is newborn to three months as well, and this is so cute. And then you knot it at the bottom just like the other one. And now for his three to six month clothes, I got him this little onesie from H&M. It came in a pack of two, and it is, actually it's four to six months. It's considered four to six months, but it looks like it could even fit him at like three months maybe. So here's this, and then I got the cutest little pants to go with it. These are from Zara, and like I said, I will try to link things below, but I'm not sure how much I'll be able to link. These are one to three months, but they look kind of big, so they should fit him a little bit longer. I think he'll be able to wear this onesie with them. This is super cute. And then also it came, this one came in a pack of two from H&M. So it came with this like oatmeal colored one too. And then the cream one. So I love these. And it wasn't that expensive either. Usually these ribbed onesies are a little bit more expensive. And then I think he could wear either with these pants. And I also think he could wear these pants with them as well. I think these will be cute. And then I also got these. So these are both from H&M, these little joggers here. And these I think were just under like the basics, these little joggers. I showed these earlier because I did get them in a smaller size and then I got them in this color as well. So I think these are going to be really cute with some of his outfits. I also got him some sweatshirts for four to six months for this winter just because they were so cute and I couldn't pass them up when I was shopping for his other things. But I got him this sweatshirt and it has little polka dots on it. So here's that. And then also, it could go with these pants. It matches it perfectly, these little dark gray pants. So that would be cute together. As well as he could wear this with these little gray pants, this little elephant sweatshirt, and then this is what it looks like up close. But I think that's really cute as well. And these won't fit him for a while, but um, I remembered having these sweatshirts from H&M when Bryn was a baby, and I really liked them. They fit her really comfortably. So those are both from H&M, and I think these were about 9 I think they were $9.99 a piece for these sweatshirts. And then my sister got him this from Zara, and this is three to six months. It's really cute. It's just a little sweatshirt, and he could wear it with some jeans or some leggings, some little joggers, actually. I'm not sure if you call boys pants leggings or joggers. I think joggers leggings might be too girly, but this is so cute. And then my mother-in-law actually picked me up these joggers from Old Navy. It came with some black ones, some navy blue ones. These are all three to six months and they're super stretchy and comfortable. And then she also got me these gray ones as well. So here's these. So those can go with some of his sweatshirts too. And then for the last piece of clothing, I got him this little jacket from H&M. I think it's so cute. I love the little brown zipper here. I think that's a really cute detail. And this will just be for like wearing in his car seat because it's pretty thin. So I think he'd be able to wear it in his car seat. And then it's very fuzzy on the inside. It's like a fleece lined material on the inside. 
And then also, if I'm bundling him up to go outside to take Bryn out to play in the fall, I think he could wear this as well. It's considered three months, so it should fit him. It looks like it would even fit him maybe up to six months, depending on how big he is. And now I'm going to show you some of the gender neutral products that I got. These are just like blankets and that kind of thing. They're not clothes. That was the last piece of clothing. So this is the Sully Baby Wrap. I got it in this like oatmeal color here, if you could see. Let's see. But let me take it out of the package. It's really soft. And then it also comes with directions in here, of course, of how to wrap it. I'm going to have to learn that. Because with Bryn, I had a different wrap that I did not like. And I never ended up getting another one. But I figured that I would use it a lot more this time. Because now I'm going to have my hands full with Bryn and the new baby. So I think this will come in handy. But it's very stretchy. And it's super cute. I love the material. I've heard from a lot of people that these are great. So I just wanted to take it out so you could see the color more, but this is what it looks like. And I will link this below because I'm sure I'll be able to find the link to this. So there is that for the baby wrap. And then a blanket here that I picked up. This is from TJ Maxx, I believe. Yes, or Home Goods. I got it for $13 and it's just this little knit blanket. I figured he could have it in his car seat or just as like a cute blanket in his nursery. Super cute. And I feel like I've said cute a million and two times in this video. And then I got him this fuzzy blanket. It has elephants all over it. And then it is reversible too. And it has little stars on the back and gray. And it's super fuzzy. And I used to use these for Bryn all the time in her car seat in the winter. So that I didn't have to put a coat on her. And then I'll be able to just bundle him up with this. Because it gets really cold here in the winter. My friend also got me this Lulu and Company swaddle set with a hat. I think it might have came with mittens too, I'm not sure. Oh, it did come with mittens. So it has these little scratch mittens, and then it also has a little knotted hat. This is so cute. It has this. I was actually about to buy him a hat because I wanted to make sure that we had one for the hospital, but I can just use this now. This is so sweet. Oh, I can't wait to see him in this. And then it comes with this swaddle. It's super soft material. I love this material. I might have to get another one of these too, but I love this. And now I'm going to show you something that I'm so excited about. I got these swaddles and blankets from the Sugar House Baby Shop on Etsy. And I'm going to show you here. I paid for them. They didn't send them to me or anything. But I will link them in the description box in case you guys happen to like them. Let's see. So I'm going to open this one up. And they came in the cutest packaging too. This one is like a burnt orange color and it's a muslin swaddle. And it's really nice material. I really like it. I've never had a muslin swaddle because I never really liked the material, but this is really nice. So I we'll have that there and I thought this would be really cute for some pictures too. And then just, you know, bundling him up. And then I also got these two blankets. And this is kind of excessive because it's kind of a lot of blankets. But I have been wanting some waffle knit blankets to take pictures of him. So I really had to pick these up when I saw them on Etsy. I had them in my cart for like three months before I bought them, but I had to give in and buy them. So I might take one of these to the hospital. I'm not sure yet, just to get some cute pictures. But here's this one. I love this color. It's like a blue color. And it's pretty soft. I was kind of expecting it to be a little bit softer material. But I do like this. And I think he could actually use this in the winter in his car seat too. Because it's a thick blanket. And then also just to like lay over his... And then also just to like lay over his lounger for pictures. And put it behind him in the background if he has a cute outfit on. I'm kind of extra like that. There is that one. And these waffle blankets were $25. And then the orange one, the muslin one, was about, I think, $13 or $11 or something like that. That one wasn't very expensive at all. And here's this one. This is the cream blanket. And it's the waffle material as well. Let me see if, make sure you guys can see that. So there's that waffle material. And I love those blankets. Those are two of the things I'm most excited about. And then my sister is letting me borrow her Snuggle Me Organic because she used it for her daughter. 
And then I just bought my own cover for it so that I don't get her stained up. And then her cover was like a dusty pink. So I wanted to get a boy one anyways. So I just got this natural one. It's just called natural. And it's super soft. Let me open it up here. And the covers are pretty expensive still. So it's not like I just bought a cover. Because I think it's like $40. I think it was $40. I'm not sure. I will link this in the description below as well too. But I just got this off of Amazon. And it's just the natural color and I love it I can't wait to take pictures of him on his little lounger I think that's gonna be so cute and then I also picked him up a pack of sheets it came with a gray and a white one and I'm using the white one on Bryn's bed right now yes the white one is on there and the reason I needed some new sheets for him is because my sister is going to be taking pictures at our house after he's born and I needed a white one because I didn't want anything with a pattern. I just wanted a plain white one. So that's why I got that. And I think it was only like $11 or $15 or something for this pack of two. This is the one that I got here. I don't know if you can see this here. I'm going to link it in the description box. But it's called Till You. T-I-L-L -L and then U. I think I might have already said this. But it came with a gray and a white one. And yeah, it was pretty cheap. And it was just off of Amazon. And I only have two more things here, and these are, I'm going to take them out of the bag so that you can actually see them. They're not super exciting or anything, but they're muslin burp cloths, and they are the same, pretty much the same material, but they're thicker. I think they're um, probably double lined, but they're just white, like an off-white color. So there's six of them, and I think they were right around $10 on Amazon, so they weren't bad, and they are... Comfy Cubs brand. I will link these as well. It'll be easy because they're just on Amazon. And then just throwing it over your shoulder. It's super nice. It's a good size. It's not too small. It's pretty big. I would buy another pack of these. And last but not least, I picked up some Bibs pacifiers for him. Let me see what ones I got here. I got a white one and then this teal colored one. So here they are. I got these two for him. These are my favorite pacifiers. I think they're so cute. They don't like clash with outfits because you can get them in any color. They come in a lot of neutral colors. I just got these two because my daughter still takes pacifiers and she takes these ones and I don't want her to think they're hers so she doesn't have these two colors so I just picked out these ones for him so that way she knows that these are his. And then also she uses the larger nipple. These ones are the newborn nipple. Um, so I don't think she would like them even if she put them in her mouth. Who knows? I'm still wondering how that's going to go when he has a pacifier and then we're going to try to take hers away. So stay tuned for that because that should be fun. But that is all for this clothing haul and blanket haul pretty much. I forgot to pick up the Snuggle Me Organic to bring over here and show you guys what it looked like with the cover on it because it is at my sister's house, but I'm sure you guys know what a Snuggle Me Organic looks like. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to my new channel so you don't miss my new videos coming up, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!